Hi there, welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to be fixing these pants that have this small rip in the leg here. So let's see what we can do. So I have a little patch here. This is just like a piece of extra shirting fabric, so it's cotton shirting. Um, that I had left over from a project. And I'm gonna go ahead and turn these inside out. At least this leg. And then, all right, so here's the rip. Here's the rip. So, I'm going to put this piece of fabric over it. I'm gonna secure it down with this wash away basting tape. So this is just wonder tape. It's wonder tape, so it washes out, but I'll probably take it off. All right, so I have tape on patch so I'm going to make sure this is laying flat and then I'm just going to stick the patch over the hole. There we go. All right so I'm going to turn it back right sides out. So there we go. There's the rip with the patch underneath. So now I have some thread that kind of matches, kind of the best match I could get. It's not perfect, but best I could do. So I'm going to take it to the machine now, and I'm going to go over this with a short length zigzag stitch to secure it. So it's kind of like an L shape. So I'm just going to go down and over just to secure the rip. So I'm going to go ahead and thread my machine and then I will take this to the machine. Alrighty, I'm here at the machine and ready to roll. So I'm going to set it for this exit. So I'm going to do 0.8 and 4. 0.8 being the length, 4 being the width. So now I'm going to find where the rip is. So here it is. Alrighty, so I'm going to put this up under the sewing machine. Let me pull the pocket out to make sure I'm not going to sew through it. Okay, the pocket is pulled out. And then. I really want to make sure I'm only going through the top layer of fabric and the patch underneath and that I'm not getting anything else in my stitching. And then I'm just going to go ahead and without shifting the fabric so it's all laying right where it's supposed to, I'm going to zigzag down and then across. So I'll go down the L and then I will rotate it and then go across just to get that whole rip. So I'm just going straight down the center of the rip with my zigzag. I'm back. Do I'll do a little back stitch here at the beginning. Alright, I made it to the bottom of that L-shaped rip, so I'm gonna my needle is down, I'm going to lift the presser foot and go ahead and rotate the pants. Alright, so now I have it faced so it's going down the other side of the L-shaped rib. And then I've reached the end, so now I'm going to just backstitch back over all of that. All 
I think I will go back over it one more time before I stop. So I'll go back forward over it one more time. All right, and then I'm gonna go ahead, pull it out, cut off my thread tails. So here's how it looks. Definitely not my best when it comes to thread matching. I probably should have went and bought some thread that actually matched better, but I am going to now finish trimming off my thread tails. And then, here's what it looks like on the inside. I'm just going to go ahead and trim away this patch away from the stitch. So I can pull back can pull back the tape up off the fabric. Pull up, and then I'm just going to grab my scissors. And I'm going to go ahead and just trim away this extra fabric. Alright, so there we go. Here's what it looks like now on the inside. Pretty secure. And here is on the outside. So, like I said, I should have probably matched it better, but it's definitely secure. It's not, the rip's not going to continue. And it gives it a little character, I guess, right? Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video and I will see you in the next one.